In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. We begin the month of November with the Feast of All Saints, a Feast of Light, a Feast of what in Greek are called the Hagoi, the Holy. And what is this word? What does it mean, holy? St. Thomas Aquinas, who was called the Angelic Doctor because of the sublimity of his thought and the purity of his life, considered this question and he wrote this. Since good that is loved has the nature of an end, and since the motion of the will is designated good or evil in terms of the end it pursues, the love whereby the supreme good that is God is loved must possess the supereminent goodness that goes by the name of holiness. This is worth trying to understand, I think. You know, one sentence. So let's take it bit by bit. First he says, Good that is loved has the nature of an end. The end is the goal we seek. When I'm hungry and I go and get some lunch, the end I have in view is eating lunch so as not to be hungry. The good in question is not being hungry. And to say that I love this good is simply to say I've chosen to pursue it. To put it another way, the good is something we know, such as eating prevents starvation. And when I'm hungry, I should eat something. To love a good is to choose it over other goods. When I choose to go and get some lunch, I'm loving the good of not being hungry. So I go and make some lunch so I can eat lunch, so I won't be hungry, so I'll be comfortable, so that I won't starve in the end and I won't die. Ultimately, I choose to eat lunch because I'm pursuing the end of my own thriving. The choice to feed myself when I'm hungry is ultimately an act of love an act of love for myself. So I don't want to starve, I don't want to die. So the good that we love is the end that we seek. Thomas then says, the motion of the will is designated good or evil in terms of the end it pursues. Pursuing an end, we're always pursuing some good. Could be lunch. But it might still be an evil choice. And seeking revenge, for example, revenge against an enemy, I might be seeking personal fulfillment, and as I might tell myself, inner peace, but I'm also seeking to harm another human being. To seek another's ruin is a bad thing. And so we say that such an action is evil, but on the other hand, eating to keep myself alive is good. So the motion of the will is designated good or evil in terms of the end it pursues. And then St. Thomas Aquinas says, the love whereby the supreme good that is God is loved must possess the supereminent goodness that goes by the name of holiness. To love God is to seek him as an end. To love God is to choose him. And since to choose a good end is a good act, and since God, as St. Thomas Aquinas has already shown, is supremely and perfectly good. Loving him is a supremely good act. And this supremely good act is what Thomas calls holiness. So for St. Thomas Aquinas, holiness is about what we love. It's about loving God with our whole hearts, as Jesus tells us to do. Remember there's a saying, you are what you eat. But what really transforms us is what we love. So let us seek to love God more than anything else in the world, in the whole world, because this is our supreme good. This is our end, our goal, our fulfillment. This is what will make us truly happy. I remember once reading um, a book by someone who'd been a chaplain at a girls' school, and all these girls had heartbreak as teenagers, and used to tell them, discover prayer, learn to pray. It'll make you happier than any boyfriend could. This is what will make us truly happy. The good we discover, the goal of fulfillment we can find in prayer, in God. This is what we can love the most because it will make us most happy. And this love is the holiness that makes us blessed saints. Amen.